Russia has moved forward with its plan to use tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko claimed on Thursday that the transport of some weapons from Russia to Belarus has already begun. Dutch prosecutors conducted a joint investigation by The Guardian and two other media outlets on a plot of land belonging to Vladimir Putin's former father-in-law near Amsterdam. British officials will ensure that Britain's Russian state assets remain dormant for some time after end of the war in Ukraine, and certainly until Moscow agrees to pay compensation for damage it has done. The European Council summit last week was the first step towards an international compensation mechanism for the victims of Russian aggression. He set up a digital damage record for Ukraine. The top U.S. general has long asked Ukraine not to use U-supplied military equipment after accusing Russia of using armored vehicles. Russia has shown that it will not expand the Black Sea Grain Agreement before the 17th of July if its demands to improve grain and fertilizer exports are not met. It made the same threats and demands in March, then agreed to renew its export agreement for 60 days last week. Unconfirmed footage appears to show a drone speedboat attack on the Russian naval ship Ivan Kurz in the Black Sea on Wednesday. The video shows at least one of the drones getting extremely close to the ship, but it remains unclear whether any damage was done. Russia's Wagner mercenary group has begun withdrawing forces from the devastated Ukrainian city of Bakhmut and transferring its positions there to regular Russian troops. According to founder, Yevgeny Prigozhin. The United States said the Wagner Group could work hide efforts by Mali and other countries to acquire military equipment for use in Ukraine, accusing it of supplying surface-to-air missiles a Sudanese paramilitary. According to Volodymyr Zelensky's chief of staff, Ukraine on Thursday secured the release of 106 soldiers captured in a prisoner exchange with Russia. Troops, including eight officers, was said to have started fighting in Bakhmut. The Russian Foreign Ministry said it had summoned the ambassadors of Germany, Sweden and Denmark over what it described as a complete lack of results in the Nord Stream investigation. It tore two pipelines. The explosions occurred in the economic zones of Sweden and Denmark, and both countries said they were deliberate, but did not determine who was responsible. Germany is also investigating Ukraine said on Thursday it had shot down all 36 Iranian-made drones launched by Russia in an overnight strike.